today I have chosen a particular uh, small uh, thing that uh, I've noticed where people make a mistake many times and uh, that is the confusion that they get sometimes when they are scanning whether this is a multiseptated uh, mass or is it loculated ascites and many times these kind of mistakes you no know, land you into major issues I remember uh, a long time back there was one patient who came to us and he uh, she had been diagnosed as a case of uh, tuberculosis you know, thinking that this is loculated ascites and actually that was not loculated ascites it was a uh, basically an ovarian cystadenoma so uh, it is a major mistake that you can make if you do not differentiate between a multiseptated mass or loculated ascites so i'll just tell you one basic point there can be many others but i'll just tell you one basic point that will help you to know whether this is a multiseptated mass or loculated ascites now if you just uh, apply uh, a bit of uh, basic thing then we can say that see mass means it is a space occupying area so when there is a space occupying area what is going to happen to the surrounding bowel loops and all they will be pushed aside you know, the, 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 the organs that are nearby they will all get pushed to the sides as a result what you will see when you will see a multiseptated mass you will not see any organ entrapped within it or uh, floating within bowel loops floating within it or something that is seen within the mass no everything would be on the sides so it would be a clear mass right and ascites is basically fluid collection in between the organs in between the areas so it will find you will find some organ trapped in it or adhesions attaching to that organ the septations attaching to that organ or the bowel loops floating within it right so uh, you should not make that kind of a confusion as such now i'll just show you two three videos just to show you tell you what i'm trying to say now if you just look at this one can you see the, you can see multiple septations but just look at the septations you will not find anything in between them no any organ or any bowel loop or anything everything is at the sides you know it's being pushed these to the sides of us. on the sides yes we do see enhancement and we do see bowel areas but inside within this mass you don't find anything uh, caught up or entrapped or hidden uh, or no uh, seen with inside it no it's just a multiseptated clear mass so this was a basically a cyst adenoma it was a cyst adenoma and uh, uh, yes further evaluation you can do with doppler and all to con uh, confirm it is there is no malignancy but since it has mostly cystic areas not may, any solid areas are not seen maybe the chances are that it, it is a likely a, a benign tumor then let us see the other one now now see this one now what do we see here here also there is a multiseptate cystic mass but there is a difference here it's a transvaginal scan so there's bladder here and this this is all fluid collection and these are the septa now if you just observe carefully do you find anything entrapped within it or what you can call as a spider web appearance or uh, uh, multiseptated area which is having something inside it something in, entrapped within it here these are follicles so this is the ovary so this is an ovary entrapped in a loculated ascitic fluid collection actually this is a peritoneal inclusion cyst what is a peritoneal inclusion cyst it is basically a fluid collection around the ovary where in the peritoneum the adhesions had developed due to some previous surgery or due to endometriosis or pid and then we all know ovary keeps on transudating fluid so that fluid when it is a normal peritoneum it gets absorbed easily but here since the there are adhesions in the peritoneum the absorptive capacity of the peritoneal surfaces is reduced as a result the fluid gets collected and these with these adhesions it forms a kind of a loculated ascites with the ovary trapped within right so this is the ovary which is trapped within it right so this is not an uh, cystadenoma it is a peritoneal inclusion cyst which we can say is a kind of loculated ascites now i'll show you another one now when we see here i see there is some fluid collection right and then as i move further i find yes there are septa here also 
so maybe initially we get a doubt that this is a multi septated mass i can see the septation clearly now just see carefully as we move as we move just observe no multiple septations we can see the septa are not so tense also they are loose and as i move further i find that there are bowel areas in it i can see the bowel areas very clearly here 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 so they are all within this fluid they are all within this fluid i can see the shadows coming and here now we can very well make out that there are bowel areas within this portion so this is an a loculated ascites and it is not a mass lesion or a cystadenoma right so this is what you should be aware of that whenever you are seeing be careful notice carefully that if i find any organ or any area uh, uh, in any uh, bowel loop or ovary or uterus or anything see is seen within the fluid and the adhesions the septations that we are seeing are attached to those areas then it is likely a loculated ascites and if i find that the mass lesion is there which is having multiple septations then you will not find any organ entrapped within it it would be just the mass lesion itself with the fluid and all the areas would be pushed to the sides right so this becomes important why because uh, cystadenomas sometimes have huge uh, sizes no they may reach up to the epigastrium and as a result can be confused with ascites so see carefully that if you find that the bowel loops have been pushed to the sides and the area looks absolutely clear and echoic then it is likely a mass lesion that you are seeing no ascites uh, as such will show you organs or the bowel loops floating or entrapped within it fine so i hope now you will not make that mistake and it will be very clear for you how to differentiate a multiseptated mass from a uh, loculated ascites or septated ascites thank you